when the sun comes up I never can sleep I'm staring at the stars at night and the stars are staring back at me cause they can't Rich Side K9 coming to you with a short video. I want to shoot this video to show a multitude of breeds and the fact that you can work on place and crate drills the same. It doesn't matter if it's a Malinois, a pit bull, or anything else. The methodology in the system is consistent. With that being said, there are modifications for safety concerns or to match drive, things like this. But we're not going to show a lot of that just because if you do it wrong, it can be problematic. So we're sticking with the basics here for videos. Um, that was Jack Russell 1. This is Jack Russell number 2. Jack Russell 1 was a very aggressive dog when he came here. Uh, he'd rival any dog out there for his levels of aggression. But we got him uh, pretty squared away, so we're pretty happy with that. And little Jack Russell 2 here, same system, same game. Right down to a Labrador. This Labrador is very, very, very high drive lab. This is a trainer's dream when it comes to labs. Any bomb dog, drug dog trainer, cadaver dog would love a lab like this. He is athletic. Thick, strong and drivey as they come um, really fun dog to do clicker training with again when you click to mark his behavior the click is a mark the click is also a release man he comes in like a rocket ship to the point that I actually started just dropping the pieces of liver on the ground because he comes in so reckless and so fast to retrieve his reward that you know he'll nip your hand there if you're not careful so um, building motivation building drive building enthusiasm is what we do and it makes training just a lot easier this is a really fun dog to work with so we're going right down here to a boxer pit bull uh, pup this is his first lesson at this game and again, I say the word game that's that, that, that's very important we make going into the kennel going into a place a game this is all a transferable behavior if you can teach a dog to go into the kennel you can also teach them to go into the car lay on their bed lay in a place it's all the same thing for the most part with a little bit of uh, variation there but the fundamentals of the behavior is the same right so always end on a positive note when you're doing this stuff it, it shouldn't be where you got to grab the dog and throw him in the kennel or throw him in the crate really take your time this is a red healer puppy me and uh, red healers <laughs> a lot of history there but uh, this is a really 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 fun dog so this is a very young dog I believe he's less than a year maybe right out a year but uh, mentally he's very immature in a, in, a, in a thick strong body so, you know, red healers bring their own levels of concern. You really got to be careful with this breed. Um, their willingness to engage is very, very high often. But again, this is lesson one for him. So we're going to keep the motivation high. We're going to show patience. We're going to show endurance. We're going to wait him out. We're going to make sure he understands with clarity. Later, once clarity is achieved, then you can apply pressure in order to increase the behavior and in order to let him know that it's a non-negotiable task. But right now, we're keeping it positive. Rich Side K9, let us know if we can help you.